What's up everybody? It's day 35 in Ohio and it's a beautiful morning and I'm happy to be here. I'm ready to ride. Let's go! Day 35 is done, so I only have 15 days left, and that's not very many. So it was a good ride, ride wise, but I'm really kind of bummed out because I've noticed that people have been trying to break into my car because I have little pry marks on my passenger side window, and I got a brand new one today. So it's just really making me angry because. I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's uh, my bike rack is making me a target. Which, if someone just had cable cutters, they could steal my other bike. So I don't know why no one has done that yet. But, or I don't know if it's like Kia, a Kia Soul is known to be easy to pry into, but yet, why have so many people tried and not been able to do it? Or if it's, people see that there's stuff in the back of my car or what? But it's really just, I don't need. For someone to be stealing my stuff and ruin my whole ride because I've worked so long and so hard for this not just for the last 35 days but like for my whole entire life dude for the last I've been riding for almost 20 years so it's been really if you think about it, it's been a 20 year process to get here and if some crackhead is gonna try to fuck that up it's just not gonna happen guys so I don't know what to do uh, I've been thinking about maybe renting a van or I, I don't know if that would even help I'm gonna instead of parking at parks I'm gonna park at like a grocery store or whatever Walmart or something maybe that'll help I don't know I don't really know what to do and hopefully I can just make it through the next 15 days and um, yeah it just sucks to ruin a good day like that so anyway I'm not gonna let it get me down so I was back in Toledo where I used to live I lived there um, after I graduated from college, which was in the year 2005, because I'm 40 years old and I'm old. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to get into the details, but I went there, I guess, for a career move that didn't really pan out. So, when I think about Toledo, really, I have regrets about the whole situation. And if someone tells you that they don't have regrets, I don't really think you should trust that person because <laughs> yeah you could say okay I wish event X didn't happen but I learned from it I got better from it and you know it made me who I am today and I can agree with that but if you say I wish it wouldn't have happened but that's like the definition of a regret you can't say you don't have regrets I don't think it's a bad thing to have regrets it's a bad thing if you have regrets and like dwell on it and don't do anything to make your life better but I mean we're all gonna make mistakes I think it's fine to have regrets in life but anyway I see Toledo as a regret but while I was living there I actually enjoyed it you know I, <laughs> I did live in a crappy apartment and you know I was poor and everything but life was simple I was still new to riding bikes I was like two or three years into it and everything was so exciting to me at that time like to explore new roads and to even something like going to Michigan was on my bike was something exciting to me and I was just starting to watch bike racing and uh, I remember there were times when Perry Roubaix was going on and there are some um, gravel roads out there like north of Toledo a little bit and 
I would watch Perry Roubaix and I would go out there on the gravel roads and pretend like you know I was doing something impressive but uh, so yeah I had a good time living there but you know what's funny is today I went back and almost nothing seemed familiar to me and I don't know if that's because things have changed which I do believe things have changed it looks like a lot of the housing developments there were new and so maybe that's why everything kind of looked different to me but, or I don't know if it's just that I have a bad memory which I do and like I was on the bike path the university bike path and I remember I used to be on there a lot and it did look familiar to me but I couldn't for the life of me remember like where did I get off to go to my old apartment because I kind of wanted to go look and see where my old apartment was but I had no idea where to even go <laughs> so it's weird it's 15 years ago and yeah I, I just remember a couple things specifically from living there one thing was okay one day I was out driving and somehow I don't remember how this happened but I had uh, after my grandpa died I ended up with his car and it was a maroon Buick I don't remember Buick something you know classic old person car you know a real chick magnet <laughs> but I was driving one day I'm gonna make a left turn and I remember and you know human memory is obviously flawed but I remember very specifically that I had a green light because I remember at the time it was different in Ohio and in Indiana like usually I think I may have this backwards but like usually in Indiana if you were gonna have a left turn arrow it was gonna happen first but usually when I was in Ohio if you were gonna have a left turn arrow it would happen after everyone after the light turned green you know and everyone else was going you would have it like at the end of the light cycle I might have that backwards but that's the way it was so I remember spe specifically I waited to make sure I had a green signal so I made a left turn and then someone came speeding so fast towards me and crashed me and you know all, you, all I saw uh, was white in front of me and that was the airbag not my imminent death <laughs> so what was weird about it was okay I get out the cops came eventually they talked to her never said anything to me and it just it was just assumed that it was my fault and I don't know how the hell like she had to have been speeding had to have been but you know maybe who knows that's a human memory so oh yeah that turned out being my fault so I remember that I lived at this apartment right when I put the car I don't know how it got there if I towed it there or what or if it was like drivable for a while but I had the car all crashed and everything sitting in the apartment parking lot for quite a while and finally one day I was gonna get around I was like okay I'm, just, I'm gonna finally get this towed out of here and then like it was the day before or the day of that it was gonna get towed I come back to the apartment and it's gone <laughs> and, and what happened is my apartment uh, the manager or owner or whatever decided like they didn't want that car anymore so they just towed it out and but really what ended up happening they never said anything to me about it and never sent me a bill or anything so it was like I just got a free tow job out of that <laughs> and uh, uh, what else happened there so oh yeah that was um, when I was living I think it was at that apartment uh, I got my car broken into and they stole like my radio I had one of those detachable radio faces that I didn't take off for whatever reason and they stole that and they stole the change in my little cup holder and I was like oh come on man don't steal the change but uh yeah Ohio it's really it was a pretty good place to ride it's really flat there but I like going up into Michigan and there were some what I thought at the time at least were hills they're probably nothing but yeah Toledo it was good today but really honestly it didn't seem familiar to me that much at all so <laughs> I guess that's what happens when 15 years go by and they have a lot of roundabouts now that back then there was not one single roundabout at all and um, but I did remember going through Seacrow or Metro Park and that's if you're watching the video if you see like a tree covered quiet road that's Seacrow Metro Park and I used to love going there in the fall and I would just ride through the park non-stop <laughs> but 
Oh, I remember one other thing, and then I'll shut my mouth, is that one of the dumbest crashes I ever had. I was on this bike path, and I was going, doing out and back. And on the way out, there was this tree branch across the trail. And I told myself, like, hey, remember that? Remember that's there on the way back. And then, of course, you probably know where this is going. On the way back, I had my head down, not paying attention, and I ran right into that stupid tree branch and crashed. So, you gotta pay attention, man. You gotta pay attention. I've, uh, most of my crashes have been my fault, and uh, yeah, the worst crash, well, both crashes that resulted in serious injury were both my fault and were both very stupid. So, <laughs> it only takes one moment of stupidity to really mess things up. And that's what I'm thinking, like, I shouldn't think this way, but that's what I've been thinking about. Like, oh man, 15 days, I just can't afford something little and stupid to mess this up now. So I've got to be way, way on top of my game. And I uh, just got to pay attention and focus. So you probably quit watching the video by now because I'm talking too much so I'll see you tomorrow uh, from my home state of Indiana